This is home. And our roots run as deep as the love we have for this place. Owned by the same Cincinnati company for more than 70 years. And what matters to you matters to us. This is WCPO 9 News. We thank you for choosing us. I'm Evan Millward. Here's a look at some of the top stories at this hour. The kick is good. And the Bengals have won the AFC North. Can we get a who day? The Bengals headed to the playoffs for the first time since the 2015 season after taking down the Kansas City Chiefs at Paul Brown Stadium. The Chiefs had the lead for most of the game, but Cincinnati jumped ahead at the beginning of the fourth and broke a 31-31 tie with a field goal just as time expired. A 19-year-old man is dead after a shooting in Walnut Hills this afternoon. Police have set up their crime scene on Beecher Street near Gilbert Avenue. This is Cincinnati's second homicide on just the second day of the year. The first in 2020, 46-year-old Dwight Terrell. Police tell us they found him shot dead just after midnight New Year's Day on Summit Road in Roselawn. We're still working to learn what led to that shooting. Police haven't said anything about a suspect or any arrests. Saying goodbye to one of their own, Ross Township first responders gathered the last few hours to honor 23-year-old Brandon Sparks. He died in a motorcycle crash last Tuesday. Investigators say he was on Stillwell Road in Riley Township when he left the road, hit a fence, and then hit a tree. Sparks' funeral is tomorrow at 11 a.m. at Charles Young Funeral Home in Ross. Taylor Nimmo joining us for a look at your 9 First Warning forecast. Feels a little different out there today, Taylor. Absolutely much colder, a good 20 degrees colder than we were at this time yesterday, but we're going to see our temperatures continue to drop throughout the night tonight. We will be in the mid 20s by early Monday morning, so bundle up on your way out the door tomorrow. Tonight, a low of 22 and mostly cloudy. Temperatures will be in the 20s all across the tri-state. We'll see winds out of the north about 10 to 15 miles per hour, but we start the week off with chilly temperatures, a high of 35, but we will see clouds clearing out. We'll end up seeing plenty of sunshine in the afternoon. So although it will be chilly, at least we'll finally have some sunshine back here in the tri-state. But looking at your nine day forecast, we stay dry for the next few days before the chance for snow arrives on Thursday.